the Congress, a comprehensive package of, uh, that will enhance our underlying effort to accommodate the Russian oligarchs uh, and make sure we take their, take their, their ill-begotten gains. <laughs> We're going to accommodate them. <laughs> We're going to seize their yachts, their luxury homes, and other ill-begotten gains of Putin's kleptocracy. Uh, uh, yeah. Kleptocracy and klep the guys who are the kleptocracies. <laughs> but these are bad guys. Also sending to Congress. New Hampshire, America have gone on the mend. They're on the, they're not on the mend any longer. They're on the move. Please sit down. I'm Jill's husband. <laughs> and Naomi Biden's grandfather. Senator Duckworth introduced her to 11 year old. Is it Vivian? Vivian. Vivian. I'm sorry, Vivian. The woman who just died, the Secretary of State, used to have an expression. She said, we are the essential nation. The First Lady's husband uh, contracting COVID. But uh, look at this room and what you, what you see. Pardon? That's right. She's fine. It's me. Let's not together. The Second Lady, the First Gentleman. And a pound of Ukrainian people, the proud, proud people, pound for pound, ready to fight with every inch of energy they have. And don't forget, come on. To nature, not when the political coverage the, that, look, um, some of the political players and some of the... Uh, let me ask you a rhetorical question. No, I won't. Anyway. Our bilateral relationships with nations with whom we deal and have serious trade deficits, we have to be willing to put more cards on the table. Now they got a new plan. Trust me, it's not going to cost you any more. Folks, follow your instincts on this one. They put one foot in front of the other. They keep going. That's the unbreakable spirit of the people of America. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. I want to thank the, the, the uh, former general, I keep calling him general, but my, my, uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. I think we're, what you're seeing is enormous growth in the country that was affected by everything from COVID and the COVID blockages that we occurred along the way. Now, we're, you always have to be uh, take a look, and no, no one is predicting a recession now. They're predicting, they're, some are predicting there may be a recession in 2023. Do you think that maybe, just maybe, your actions and your policies are encouraging migrants to come to the border. Moratorium on deportations was announced on day one by President Biden. You've ended Remain in Mexico. You've ended agreements with Northern Triangle countries. You've stopped building the wall. And in 25 days, Title 42 goes away. Do you think that's encouraging people to come to the border? Uh, uh, Congressman, uh, the, um, the increase at the border is the result of a number of factors. Will you testify under oath right now? Do we have operational control, yes or no? Yes, we do. And we have we operational are... control of the borders. Yes, we do. And Congressman, and we are working to... So what operational control? defined in this section the term operational control means the prevention of all unlawful entries into the United States including entries by terrorists other unlawful aliens instruments of terrorism narcotics and other contraband do you stand by in your testimony that we have operational control in light of this definition you and congressman I think the um, Secretary of Homeland Security would have said the same thing in 2020 and in 2019 you don't have the border under operational control do you section 2 what does it say? It says, in this section, operational control means the prevention of all unlawful entries in the U.S., including entries by terrorists, etc. You're not preventing entries. You're fomenting interesting entries. You're encouraging it.